Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. My name is Stephanie and today we are gonna be doing the no makeup makeup look. Um, so that is why right now I have no makeup on and um, as you can tell, I have a few breakouts because it has been a very stressful week. <laughs> um, and yeah, so let's just get into it. So whenever I do the no makeup makeup look, I try to make it look as natural as possible. So um, I normally do this whenever I'm going out running errands or just kind of going out of the house, not really like going to an event or anything, but just doing my normal day-to-day -day things. So I'm just gonna be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I love this because it has SPF 20 in there. As we all know, we need sunscreen even in the winter doesn't matter so I'm just gonna put it on my wander cover complexion brush from eco tools I'm just gonna squirt that much on there I'm just gonna dab all over my face that has so many breakouts I normally don't break out but this week has been just really stressful my skin definitely took a toll. Right, so I'm just gonna take my blending brush and just start blending. I'm also gonna take this down to the neck just like you would with regular foundation. I like using this tinted moisturizer because like I said I like to keep things very natural looking. Um, I love the finish. Again this is just supposed to be a no makeup makeup look. That doesn't mean like I know I see a lot of people will try to do the no makeup makeup look and they just cover themselves in foundation and powder but to them doing a no makeup makeup look is just like not doing a crazy eye look or just not going crazy with like the bronzer or something like that but for me I actually really want to do a natural looking no makeup makeup look I just want my skin to look normal just better making sure I'm blending everything out making sure there are no streaks you can do this with a beauty blender you can even use this with your hand I just like to use a brush which is my preference so I put on the BB cream. The next thing I'm gonna do is concealer. The one thing that you wanna make sure is have your concealer match the coverage that your foundation or your BB cream, whatever you're using, make sure that the coverage is matching the face makeup coverage. Yeah, make it the lighter one. So this is gonna be light. This is a, a light coverage. So I wanna make sure that the concealer is gonna be a light coverage. So I like to use the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer um, because it does conceal. It's not thick, it's not heavy. It's just very light, very creamy, and it goes with everything. And you don't see like this white strip <laughs> underneath my eyes. It, everything blends in perfectly. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes like this. I wanna make sure that I have the corners in here because I do have really dark, dark, circles. I'm just gonna take my 110 Luxie brush, just blend this out. I know I'm super duper shiny right now, but we're gonna take care of that in just a minute. I don't like to be too shiny. I know the shine makes it look more natural, but I have super oily skin, so I have to kind of contain it somehow. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that with the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. It's that rice protein powder. I'm going to use that and I'm going to just kind of touch up on my face with the IT Cosmetics brush. It's just like the little itty bitty mini one. Um, it's great for travel, great for this. And my no makeup makeup look doesn't have a lot of steps. It's just super fast, super quick, easy. This isn't going to be like this long baking, you know, anything like that. It's just to cover up the shiny parts because throughout the day I'm going to get shiny. I'm just going to put this underneath the eyes to definitely set that concealer because I don't want it to crease. The one blush that I will use for the no makeup makeup look is the Busy Gal from Tarte. I absolutely love this. It's super fast, super easy, and I love how it comes in this tube and it's just, it's easy for travel and it's a beautiful color. So I just do two little stripes. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. I know it looks crazy, but I'm just gonna blend it out and it'll look somewhat normal after the blending process. And I'm gonna skip the highlight only because this blush 
has like this shimmery look to it. This blush already does the highlight for me. I don't need to do any more. Sorry, I'm just looking at the monitor. Normally I skip this step, but lately I have been keeping it in my no makeup makeup routine. Just my normal everyday bronzer from Kylie Jenner. It's the in the shade khaki. It's my favorite bronzer. It's also perfect for these looks because it's not very dark. It's very light. Everything just looks very natural. I'm gonna use my Luxie 1010 small contour brush. Just very, very light. I don't even know if you if the camera will be able to pick up how light I'm going. I just barely want definition. I didn't use a primer. It's just a tinted moisturizer. So I didn't really use anything. It wears pretty well all day. I really like it. I don't go all out with that, that stuff when it comes to the no makeup makeup look. I just feel like the no makeup makeup should be super quick, super simple, something that you can do very easily with your favorite products. I'm also gonna do the forehead just a little bit because with my blonde hair and with how pasty white my skin is, it kind of just like blends in all together. So I kind of wanna, you know, just make that definition a little bit so you can see where, you know, my forehead ends and my, my hair begins. Contour the nose. Keep in mind whenever you are going for this look, you want to make sure that you're picking out the blush that matches your natural color whenever you start to get flushed. Whenever you're like out and about and like you're sweating and you're cheeks get all rosy. You want to make sure that your blush matches that color so that way it looks more natural and you're not like peeping through and you see these different colors on your cheeks because you're wearing this sheer tinted moisturizer or whatever you choose to wear. The same goes for contouring. Um, because we are going for that natural look, you want to pick the shade that kind of matches the natural color of your shadows on your face, if that makes sense. I have like these really high cheeks and I kind of already have that natural shadow here. So you just want to make sure that you're picking that natural shadow that you have because of course we are putting on a face which is covering up your skin somewhat and you want to kind of bring out those features even for this look. Make sure that you're picking a bronzer that matches those colors. Everything needs to look easy, natural, and just flawless. Um, so those are my tips for the different colors. The next thing that I'm going to get into are my brows. So for brows, <laughs> I use this so much that the name, the label, everything has come off of it completely. This is the Benefits Brow Gel, the tinted brow gel, and I think it's like in the color number three. It's like one of those universal colors. This is my go-to for my brows. It just gives a slight tint to your brows, making them look a little bit fuller, and it keeps them in place. The next thing that I'm gonna do is use my Il Maquillage. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, I've been pronouncing it that way. I do like this one. It's Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. Um, I like to use this only on the natural day look because this one does give some length to your lashes. It does give it some volume, but not too much. It just kind of like defines your lashes and makes it look like you actually have them because if you look at mine now, you can't, I'm sure you can't even tell uh, that I have any. So this one at least like kind of puts them on the map. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go crazy, not gonna go all out. This is all natural for me. This is the perfect one to use, at least for me, I love it. So let's go ahead and put this on and you'll see the difference. I'll put one on and then you can see the difference and then I'll put the other one on. I do bottom lashes first because I have hooded eyes. If I put it on the top first and then go on the bottom of my lashes, my lashes are touching my lid and it just like weighs it down and then there's mascara on my lid and it's a mess. So yes, I do bottom lashes first. Everyone always asks me about that. So I feel like I have to repeat myself a lot. So I want this to look as natural as possible. And of course, with my luck, I am constantly getting mascara brush marks on my lids. So just gonna leave that on there for now until it dries up and then I will take it off with a Q-tip or the little, you know, spoolie brush. There are my bottom eyelashes. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, but again, natural. So I'm going to do the top and I'm going to kind of wisp them out just a little bit. I'm not going to put on a bunch of coats. I'm probably going to do just one or two coats and then wisp it out on the sides. And that's going to be it for my lashes at least. 
Okay, so I don't know if you can tell a difference. Um, <laughs> I'm looking in the monitor and I can't tell, it's too far away. But in person, you can definitely see that I actually have lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So there are the lashes. One thing I did forget to do was put bronzer in the creases of my eyes. I need to do that because I need to show that there is some definition in my eyelids. I do have hooded eyes, so it covers my lids completely, like my skin flap, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It goes all the way down to, and it touches my lids. So I need to kind of give some definition to make it look like I even have them because then it just look like a blank slate and it doesn't look pretty. So I'm going to put bronzer in my crease really quick. I just got an old and of course, since I have hooded eyes, I am not putting the bronzer in the crease. Like I said, I'm actually just going to be putting it right above the crease to give that illusion that it's there. Just because we are doing the all natural look doesn't mean that I can't use a lip plumper. I have the world's tiniest lips and I need all the help that I can get. Even on my natural days, I want to make it look like I actually have lips. So I am using the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I think it works. Um, do I think it works? For a long period of time like i don't know how long it works but i like the instant results that i get and i like to think that it works for a long time i always feel weird putting lip gloss on right in front of the camera because i don't really have lips so putting it like doesn't make sense because there's nothing there um like how you see all those instagrammers and other beauty youtubers and they're just like you see those videos of them just like putting on lip gloss and it's like you're mesmerized by their ginormous lips that's not happening here because i don't have them so it's like i feel like i have a turtle beak that's what i have a total turtle beak so i'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit because i am gonna mix it in with my nars dulce vita velvet matte lip pencil i know i kind of do things backwards as far as this goes i put the lip injection first and then i'm putting on the crayon i i don't know that's how i like to do it and that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> I feel like it's working. There's the burn, there's the tingle. All right, so I love this color, that Dulce Vita, because it looks darker than what it really is, but when I put it on, it's kind of like just a, sl it's slightly darker than the natural color of my lips, and I kind of like that, because it kind of evens everything out, because I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I rip my lips apart, and so like you can tell, sometimes you can see like the different colors, because I just keep ripping them off. I have like chronic dry lips, so they just peel off, so like I'm just like peeling them off on my own, because yeah anyway all right so there is the NARS lip crayon here is the finished look this was super fast super easy super natural I hope you guys like it please let me know by thumbs up in this video and please remember to subscribe that would mean so much to me thank you guys so much bye